Father Benedek Estegon write this chronicle of the year 1476 at the command of Matthias Corvinus, King of Hungary, and my ecclesiastical superiors who resolve me from the evils I have witnessed. God's mercy cleanse my mind of those dark days. The mighty castle of Tirgovista. There I served as chaplain and chancellor to that prince of Wallachia and Transylvania called Vlad V, the most cruel of men, yet once the most just of rulers, known now and to the future by his more legendary names, Vlad Tepesh, the Impaler, and of a darker meaning still, Lord Dracula. <laughs> We present Kenneth Haig and Nigel Stock in Brian Hale's play, Lord Dracula. For 13 years, Vlad Dracula was a captive in irons in the dungeons of King Matthias Corvinus's citadel of Buda. Now, by virtue of his true repentance of heresy and return to the Catholic Church, Voivod Dracula is restored to his own territories and castle once more. But the past and the terrible reasons for his imprisonment are not easily forgotten. Brother Jacob, this is the hour for meditation. Why then are you reading? It is nothing, Father. I will be the judge of that. Let me see. But, Father... My son, obey. It is a calendar, nothing more. A list of crimes attributed to him. Every one from a living witness. It is your death warrant. Burn it now. Destroy it, then. I will not forget. The record will remain. A testimony of death to our noble lord. He paid for those crimes with 13 years of his life. The debt is settled. Small payment before God. King Matthias Corvinus thinks otherwise. Do you challenge his wisdom? How can those slaughtered bodies ever be balanced? Hundreds when he sacked the town of Brashov. 5,000 at Great Shieldoff. 25,000 in the Bulgarian campaign. God rest their souls and give them peace. Did Lord Dracula say that? As he had them all impaled on pointed stakes. Alive. And three years ago, I was young. And, like you, filled with pride for truth. With Emmanuel, a brother priest, I travelled the villages of this land, preaching our faith boldly. One day, word reached us to attend the Voivod Dracula at his court, here in Tergoviste. We came bravely, for we knew the horrifying reputation of the man. But he greeted us most courteously. Monk Emmanuel, you have preached to my people. Do they respect you for it? If they respect the word of God, my lord. And what do they say of me? All manner of good things, my lord. All men hold you in honour and affection. There is no man but does not call you noble. Guard, take this monk and feed him while I question his brother. Your name, monk? Benedict, my lord. I suspect from your face that you fear me. You hold me in the palm of your hand, my lord. But I fear God more. They call you tyrant and you are renowned only for your vile cruelty. You have proved as much. For they do not call you Vlad Tepesh for nothing. No man has dared call me the Impaler to my face before. You asked for truth. Even if it be my last words, I give it. Freely. Then you shall live. As witness to the glory of your truth. My Lord. Thanks be to you and to God. But think on this, priest. Every truth carries its own punishment as well as reward. 
Your reward is life. Guard. Oh. The priest who lied. Impale him. <gasps> in front of his brother here. As witness. No. God no. Have mercy. No. Deliver us. No. 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 He stayed there. Hopeless to the end. It was a slow death. Yet you have remained here at Turgovishta until now, even after Vlad Dracula's imprisonment. Why? It was a wish granted to him by King Matthias Covinus that I should serve Vlad Dracula as his witness before God. But that king, too, has a dark sense of justice. The price of Vlad's freedom was conversion to my faith. It has taken 13 years. But now his faith is deep and strong. He is the fiercest of the king's champions. Now he has the king's sister as wife, big with their bond child. Does that wipe away the past? My son, do not question the lives of princes unwisely. Go now and pray for the Lady Ilonia in her hour of childbirth. Vlad's marriage to the king's sister, Ilonya, had taken place in the last months of his exile in the fortress of Buda. He had been married before, and from that union a son, Istvan, had grown to manhood. Though Vlad, like all princes, had taken concubines and mistresses, this second wedlock was of a different nature. If love ever existed in his life at all, it was for the gentle, serene Ilonia. At the end of the summer, when he brought her at last to his great castle of Tirgovishta, she was already heavy with child. Now she lay in labor, but her stepson Istvan's face was cold. She suffers. The signs are not good. She is a frail vessel, my lord Istvan. Our prayers must go out for her. Your prayers, father, not mine. The child she bears will be your sibling. A half-brother only. Perhaps a sister, but of royal blood. I am my father's firstborn. That birthright cannot be taken from me. No one denies that right. At the first cry of the child she bears, I am denied everything. I will not share. At least, like your father, be just. I leave justice to God. Will God listen to her or to me, do you think, Father? He makes his own judgments, my son. And I'll be more useful inspecting the stables. You make a better listener to God than I, Father. Father, Father Benedict. Yes, Carter, in my child. Come? Dr. Santish begs that you should come quickly. Thank God, Catelyn found your father. When doctor calls for priest. It's that bad, yes. Her first child. And she is not young. Pray for her father. And for us also. Is there no hope at all? The midwives know, as I do. And we are in terror for our lives. If I fail, he forgives nothing. Dr. Sentesh, more than anything, he desires a son by her. Give him that, and you will share his triumph. Do nothing, and you lose everything. Pray for me, Father. I pray for us all. <coughs> Elizabeth, Kathleen, hold me, Lady Fast. We have no choice. Father Benedict, my lord, why is your presence needed at my wife's bedside? To give her strength and God's grace. Hmm? Is she so weak? She fights valiantly to give you a son. She knows my mind. She would give everything to please you. A son. Ishtvan is already a man, but this son will be supreme. Not only your heir, but heir to the king and Hungary. With such a bloodline, he will be greater than the hero John Hunyadi himself. He will conquer all Asia in the name of Christ, my son. Ah! My lord, come away. Must she suffer? Every cry tears at my flesh. Ah! It is the glory of women to bring forth life. But the pain... Without it, there would be no dignity. As in death also... Man can discover all secrets, given time. Oh, do you hear? Is that a child, my newborn son? That is not a child's cry. Well, what have they done? Oh. Silence! Oh. 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 Sentence! Oh. 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 
Show me, my son. My lord. Show me. My lord, it never lived. That is not my son. Benedict. Do you see this thing? Do not dwell on it, my lord. Blotched and twisted. It's not human. It's evil. A malignant creature. Sentence, cover it, man. Hide it. Take it, Benedict. Exorcise and burn that devil's lump while I shrive its conjurer. God! My lord, hold fast to God. She will live now. You will see. We have torn the evil from her belly. She will live. She will live! God! Take these butchers from my sight. Let them take as long to die as they performed their work upon her. No! 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 Listen to your lord. My lord, have I pleased you? Oh, you have pleased me. Do not fly away. Let me rest between your hands. I am so tired. Oh, the blood, Benedict, the blood, will it never cease? My lord, do not blame our son. Oh, I will blame no one. Only stay with me. I must sleep. Is it sleep, Benedict? Tell me. She will never wake. She sleeps, damn you. I feel her heart against my face. The warmth. Oh, God, the blood. Will nothing stop the blood? You have killed the only man who could have saved her. You lie. I speak nothing but truth. I am God's witness. Will he take her too, and my son? He has his justice, as you have yours. Accept what he gives, and you will find peace, my son. I do not accept. He is greater than you, than your king, than all great princes. Accept. No! He has taken what is his. You cannot reclaim her. Only give. Give? Accept? If he is so great a prince, then he will give and accept. I am an honest man. I have served his cause. I have killed soulless infidels in his name and built holy churches on battlefields once drenched with blood. I have been God's champion. If I have any right to that claim, let her live. Your challenge is too late. She is dead. Then all goodness and grace dies with her. My son, for the love you once had for her, God-given... I deny God. I am his everlasting enemy. I spit upon his mercy. <laughs> I cannot remain here. It is unholy. You will stay. Then will you kill me too? You are tied to me, priest. By your own words, you are God's witness. What I shall do is dedicated to your eyes. And through you will defile him. You told me once, for every action, there is a consequence. Ah, the sword of truth. Double-edged, good and evil. Well, by my evil, you will know good. But until I release you from that stewardship, you will suffer my sins as you suffered Brother Emmanuel's agony to the death. Father. Keep your sympathy from me, Ishtvar. Only this minute I've been told. Then you know she died, killed by the monstrosity within her, and by an absence of God's mercy. Oh, don't let grief blind me. I am not a woman to be comforted. I am Vlad Dracula. You are my father. Then obey. Command me. Leave Tergovishta. Go to the king. Do battle for his cause with honor. But you will say nothing of what has happened here. But it is his sister, your wife. The funeral ceremony. I command you to say nothing. Yes, father. You must have no part in this grim chronicle, my son. The conflict is not yours. But go. Go now and quickly. And leave me to what I must do. The funeral of the Lady Ilonia. 
was Dracula's last respect to her name. Every possession in her name was burnt. Her ladies-in-waiting were butchered and impaled at the entrance to her tomb. Her name was never to be spoken again. But this was not the end of the perverted death rites commanded by Lord Dracula. The doors of every church in Tirgovishta were barred and bolted. Every holy bell pulled down. Every priest banished under threat of violent death. The name of God was forbidden. A terrifying silence of the soul hung over Tirgovishta. And only I remained. Father Benedict. Jakob. My son, you must go with the others. Quickly. Come with us. I cannot. There is still time. My time is here. I am God's only link with this wretched prince. I may yet save him from himself. You cannot save him. He is forever damned. My son, you do not understand. I know this. Without you, his evil will have no meaning. Leave him now. Leave him, father. No. I will not be far away. You are commanded to leave Turgovishta under pain of death. The people need me. They will keep me safe, hidden in the town. Now who's looking for the martyr's death? Not me. After what I've seen, I'm a coward. You won't find me preaching and ranting at street corners. Just skulking in cellars, celebrating mass. It's the least I can do. Before God. Take care, my son. You also, father. I will say masses for you in the people's name. Give them my blessing. Go now. Quickly! Oh! I'll hide in the vestry. Out. Goodbye, Father. Your order. Priest Benedict. Yes, my son. We're not related, so none of that I wash. We are before... Don't the... mention that name. It means death. I speak that name without fear. God. For his sake, then, Father. Do not make me commit that crime... Not to you. Do not be afraid, Captain Ferenc. I alone may speak that name, protected by Lord Dracula's favour. Others aren't, though. And if I allow that name to be spoken, then it's me hanging from the highest stake, clutching my guts. Black justice. I'm his man, and I abide by it. I want no man to suffer for my sake, Ferenc. That won't be easy. With you protected... Someone has to pay. I know. Well, take care. Was that the reason for you coming to this chapel? It's to be walled up. But... But it's my place of worship. His place. There is no place for him in the castle of Turgovishta. He is here, though. Isn't he? I'm not here to talk. There's a job to be done. Leave me time for prayer, at least. I daren't. Lord Dracula demands your presence. Now? While we purge the castle of any priests who think they'll stay. The last place they'd come would be this chapel. That's why I'm ordered to wall up every door and window <sighs> without searching it. Give me five minutes. No more. Sorry, Father. Have you no piety? I prefer to stay alive. Out you come, Father. Unless you want to stay in there with the spiders and the mice. They are his creatures. But there's none that you have a special regard for, is there? Or was the echo I heard... Uh, what? No more than an echo. I mean to say, if it had been a priest hiding, perhaps... What makes you say that? It was only a thought, but if it had been... Well, either I'd have to take him out and impale him outside the castle walls. Dear God, not that. Or he'll stay as quiet as a mouse as we seal him in and die in good company without light or air or pain. Come away, Father. Either way, there's nothing you can do. Nothing. Only witness. No time for that, even. I must take you to Lord Dracula right away. Come along. Hurry, priest. Mount your horse. I am not prepared for a journey. Soldier, give the priest your cloak. You may freeze, but my witness must be kept warm. Sooner than he suffers, I will do without. Take it, or he dies on his captain's sword now. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Remember, priest, accept. Without question? All be witness to the consequence. Where do we ride? My spies tell me there is a village priest who calls me the accursed impaler. We ride to visit him. Forward, Captain! Uh, 
when you dare to spread your vengeance beyond the walls of Pirga Vista. Where it affects me, yes. But I will bring him back to Tergo Vista and show him what he says is true. Edman, I am Lord Dracula. I know it, my lord. What is your name? Your day, my lord. I speak for all the village. Your priest also? He is not here, my lord. That is unfortunate. Rather than have your anger spill over against us, he left the village. I came to show him the truth in what he calls me. Tepesh. The Impaler. My lord, no. Spare them. This priest knows my ways, Gergay. When your priest returns, you will present him with proof of what he claims of me. Proof, my lord? I am Vlad the Impaler. He will know it is I who pass this way, for the evidence will stand here, before his church. You, his congregation. Less than 50 souls live there. He spared none. As we left that small forest of impaled innocence, Lord Dracula turned briefly to me and smiled, coldly. I could say nothing for the grief that blinded me. Tears, priest. Is the winter wind so bitter? <laughs> there is worse yet to come. His march of terror swept like a scythe through the villages and hamlets set about Tirgovishta. His soldiers, those terrible avengers, first savoured, then sickened of the bloodlust that drove their master on. At last, blood lost its obsession even for him, and he turned his proud stallion's head homeward to the next crossroads that would carry him further into darkness. What is it, Captain? Do they fate us, or do they flee in terror? Neither, my lord. They quote a witch. They're testing her, then putting her to death. Without my permission? They seem to think her death will honor you, my lord. Let us see this witch. Let the witch stand forth. Speak, Janos. She's cursed my cattle and Laszlo's too. Three calves, I'd love. And the children, where are they? May curse be. Put her to the dead. Well, don't let her come close, master. She'll curse your beast. Sign of evil is on her. Beware. Silence! Stand close, girl. I would see your face. Look into my eyes. If you dare. The girl stood forward, dirty and ragged, but with all the grace of a young animal. Her hair was free, and although threatened by the villagers about her, she had a pride that made them her slaves. But it was when I saw her eyes that I knew she was evil. She was of the breed of Lucifer, and no one can look into those eyes and be called holy. I turned my face aside and prayed. I am named Militsa. Call these dogs from me. Give me good reason. Because you are Vlad Dracula. And you have need of me. We have proved her guilty. She must die. I will interrogate her. Torture her. She'll talk then. She must be. Yeah. She will be questioned at Tergovishta. No, 
She must be destroyed in the ancient manner. Lavlo, Janos, the pitchfork! Kill those two men! Take the girl on your saddle, Ferenc. We ride for Turgovishna. I ride with no man but my lord Dracula. Then you will walk barefoot at my horse's flank. And if you fall, you die. <laughs> ride on then, my lord. Salamander! Forward! Move, you black devil! He will move only at my command. <laughs> Those peasants were right. You have cursed the beast. Seat me at the pommel of your saddle. I am not to be commanded. I am. Lift me up. Now, break the spell, witch. Salamander, go! <laughs> Our return to Tegovishta was swift. We pause for nothing. Salamander, as though possessed by the very powers of darkness, set a pace that only checked when we reached the gates of the citadel. The first of the winter storms was already upon us, cursing and howling its eerie song among the palisade of stakes outside the castle walls. Why have we stopped? Are these your enemies set upon those stakes? They are my people, delivered from a worse evil than death. I have come too late then. Why? Would you save them? No, my lord. They are past that. <laughs> Do they amuse you? They are broken puppets now. But how they must have danced and bled. <laughs> Salamander, go in. Closer to the fire, priest. Warm yourself. It's going to be a long winter. The girl, Melitza. She is being tended now, bathed and dressed. She will be a welcome pleasure. I shall enjoy her. She owes you her life. She will pay for it. <laughs> Did you see her body, Benedek? How it moved and twisted. Mother naked beneath her rags. I saw only the evil in her eyes. Did it draw you? Command you? Make you lust for her? No. Then you turned away too quickly. I have no part in what she can give you. You are my witness. I command your eyes. No. You will see her flesh. And my hand upon it. You will see my desire. Fulfilled. He will see nothing. He sees all, suffers all. What I bring you is not for old men's eyes. See, he already suffers. Why do you think he cannot bear to look at me? Shall I set my lips upon you, priest? <laughs> <laughs> he burns! See, see how he burns! Get thee behind me, Satan! I am Lilith. Sweet daughter of Astarte Astoroth, can you deny Our Lady of Babylon or her handmaiden? I do deny her and all her evil ways. I call upon God to protect me and punish... Oh, get rid of this old fool. Leave us, priest. I want him killed. Impaled. Now. No. He would cry out. Blood spurting on the stake. As I, upon... No. No. While I live, he lives. Is his power over you so great? Ask him. Priest, answer. I stand for God, whom Vlad Dracula would deny. Is that your revenge, Tepesh? <laughs> he 
is that all? Now, do not mock me, Gypsy. You're a child, smashing trinkets out of spite. That is no vengeance against his feeble death. The people cry out at my evil. But that is not power. No one denies Vlad Dracula. The screams of dying men. The shudders of an old priest. Is that all you seek? Do not listen to her. There is a greater vengeance. The priest knows it. Ask him. I will not answer. Answer or she... Depeche. He faces a moment of truth. Two-edged. He knows it. Step back. You are not beyond redemption. Uh, uh, you are afraid. For my soul's sake, you are afraid. Yes. If you go on, you are lost to God. But not to you. You are still my witness. Release me. Give me peace. Never. Make him leave. Our night is before us. Mm -hmm. now, speak first. I wish to see the terror in his eyes for what he knows awaits me. Look into the priest's eyes. <laughs> well, look at me, Benedict. Through those aged tears. My son, for the love of God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see love there. Mingling with the fear. Poor old man. There is such a despair in your soul. I slip through your fingers like quicksilver. Do you feel me as I go from you? Yes. Ah, oh, such a desperate sadness. Would you be happy if I gave you back my soul? God would be happy, my son. <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> Leave us and go to him. <laughs> Tell him in your prayers that you have failed. Tell him I serve a new master. Go. <laughs> and while you pray, priest, remember, the initiation starts with me. There was no part of that great castle in which I could escape the memory of those serenely evil eyes. Gold flecked like the great cat. The many soldiers were restless and on edge. Their serving women panicked at every shadow, while the horses in the stables around the courtyard fretted and kicked all night long. I found Captain Ferrance in a lonely turret. You hear them, priest? The horses. They know that something is wrong. It's the storm. Never like a cold storm. Horses don't. Perhaps they know who raised it. You've been listening to the serving wenches, superstitious sluts. The soldiers too, then. They blame the gypsy. Do you think she's a witch? I know she is. That won't save her from the master. If she fails to please him... She's already her slave, bewitched body and mind. She will rule us all. So soon. You expected it? He was getting sick of the blood. Something had to happen. Something has happened. Something so evil. <laughs> Dracula bedding a gypsy girl. Nothing new in that. Where's your faith? Riding the wind. It may not see this night out. It will last longer than these castle walls. Why else do you reckon my Lord Dracula picked on you as his holy water jester? Do you speak truth, Ferenc? Common sense, at least. Jacob was right. The Holy Church rests in the souls of the people. God save his memory. The way you speak of him, anyone think he was dead? What? But he cannot be alive. The chapel... Yes, walled up. Doors and windows all. Then how? There's more ways in and out of this castle than you can see with your own two eyes, Father. Passages. Tunnels. Yes, for those who've got the guile to go looking for them. From the vestry. Is that a fact? But where? Well, they do say that the old sewers, built by the Romans like as not, run clear down underneath the town. Then he's safe. With the people so strong up here, you know. I can hardly hear a word you say. Bless you, my son. For a winter wind. 
Small blessing there. It warms me like the fire of Christ, tempering my faith. May it blow long and full then. For you'll need your faith with that black witch among us. Gypsy girl, you are a witch. A witch. But more than a witch. Silver-bodied, like the slender moon. She is my sign. As Draconis, serpent of the stars, is yours. And together we rule the night sky. But the moon is dying. It wanes only to return. My lord, I weaken also. Hmm? What are you saying? I'm ruled by her. She is the mother of my spirit. As the moon dies, so I am plunged into darkness. Soon it will be time. You cannot leave me. I command you. Accept what I tell you. My lord. You are not to die. I shall return. Only... Accept. What is happening? Your face. Look away. Leave me now. Come back. Come back. Believe in my power. I believe. Only stay. Look into my eyes. Militza, what have you become? At the full moon, I will show you a great secret. Come to me. Then... No, I will not leave your side. I will call doctors the greatest physicians in my land. <laughs> they... They know... Nothing. <laughs> the owl... Knows all. It is... Time. The moon. Militza. The moon. Father! Father Benedict! Uh, wake, priest, wake! Uh, what, 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 what is it? Myself. Come quickly. My lord commands you. Uh, in, in a moment. Now! You dare not delay! What is wrong? He has gone mad. The gypsy girl is dying! Was it you, priest? What sacred incantation have you performed? I have done nothing, my lord. She has left me, she too. And if it was your doing... I had no hand in it, I swear. You will die as no man has ever died before. You will beg, and my only mercy will be greater pain. If that is God's will... Admit it! You wished her destruction. To save your soul, yes. Ah, there I have you, priest. Self-confessed. Murder by sorcery. But God in his mercy has spared me that terrible act. Huh? The sorcery is hers. What? Huh? See... I hold this glass before her lips. She is not dead. Oh. Yes. There is breath. There is breath. It is a witch's trance. A catalepsy. She said, only believe. By this, she has made you her slave. She has true power. She is evil. And I believe in her. Then you are lost. Until the full moon. <laughs> Only until then. My lord, dismiss me. No, no. You are the watchman. You will stay here by her side. Only when she is mine again will I release you. Vlad Dracula knew I had no choice. I sat by that living corpse waiting for the moon spell to run its length of days and nights. By candlelight I watched that face, so young, and yet in its lifeless eyes, holding a knowledge so old, so ancient. Then, as the first sleek sliver of the moon rode the night sky, that face began to change. Each night... Gazing into those fathomless eyes, I entered a dream so deep, so dark, it goes beyond memory. 
But when I woke each dawn, there was a flush of beauty on the gypsy's skin, the merest sign of brushed colour from the sunrise. Her life was flowing back. I could not even pray. I felt so crushed by this dark power. And then, at the full moon, she awoke. You have served me well, priest. Where is my lord Dracula? I am here. Welcome, my lord. Go, priest. This is no place for you. <laughs> I am young again, Vlad Tepish. Oh, and beautiful as the risen moon. As full and as fertile. Fitting for the fruit of dragon seed. You cannot know that. It will be a son. My son. And your pledge to Lucifer. What? It is the price of knowledge. Accept. I accept. There is a pact to be signed. I will sign it. In blood, my lord. <laughs> In blood. Do you think I'm afraid? Here is my blade. Oh, put aside your sword. What I take, I take with an In his great passion for the witch girl, the grim castle of Tirgovishta became the center of life for Dracula. His bands of cruel mercenaries terrorized the lands about him still, but Vlad Dracula never rode with them. His was a darker exploration. Do not cease your prayers, priest. I only observe... Leave me, witch! <laughs> Does my presence trouble you? Is the looseness of my perfumed hair a hindrance to proper prayer? Do these naked shoulders move you? Be gone, child of evil. Oh, we have a bond, you and I. No. Those empty dreams. Do you remember? <laughs> that life could be yours. I will not remember. That cross discarded. <sighs> it is the last barrier between us. Then you will recall that dream and see clearly all that was promised you in every sweet detail. I call upon all the saints and God Almighty to protect me from your evil tongue. Oh, be silent, priest. Save your holy curses for the poor. <laughs> or I will set a mark on you, one you will long remember. The blessing of God protected me from knowing her meaning. But those dark dreams were like a mighty silence looming over me. I feared what it contained, for I sensed those dreams were interwoven with the choice I had to make. But the decision was too great for me alone. I needed help. This is as far as I can take you, priest. You'll come out in the cellars of the coaching inn. And he will be there. If Dracula's spies haven't caught him already... And if they have? They'll have made him talk, won't they? You mean, they'll know of this tunnel? And you'll be taken at the other end. I will tell nothing. You'll talk. I always do. I know what they get up to in the way of persuasion. It isn't pretty. You're risking your life. Not if we're lucky. And you come back before dawn. If you don't... It means I never will. Remember what I said. Get the news to Lord Istvan. He'll know what to do. But, my son... Get on, priest. You haven't much time. Who's there? Miklos? It's me. Look at my face. Father Benedict. Brother Jacob. Is he here? Come out of there and shut the cover. Yes, he's here. Just finishing a baptism. Thank God. The people still have their faith. Not all. 
There's some that take his lordship silver. That's why I'm on guard. Give you a surprise, did I? I thought it was a trap. And so it could be, father. My son, Jacob, God's blessing on you. And you also, father. But better give thanks to God that Miklos is with us. You are too trusting. But I know Miklos. I christened his children. That wouldn't have saved you, father. Why have you come? I can live with such evil only by knowing there is hope here. I had to come. You are three of him now. Escape. Join us. He would kill every soul in Tirgovista. I know. I am bound to him by the sword. I must remain there in that grim castle. In spite of the degradation he thrusts upon you. It is enough to know that faith still exists, my son. Will you pray with me? Miklos, keep watch. Aye. I'll take Father Benedict into the chapel. A chapel? Here? The wine cellars of the inn are like catacombs. Where better? Come. In the deepest wine vault, the sight of that makeshift altar, covered as it was with an unembroidered cloth, filled my heart with love. And I wept to be within the grace of Christ once more. But what monk Jacob next related to me left us both in deep despair. It is always the young that are taken. Three so far. Innocent children. But why? For what vile purpose? It is said they are used as sacrifice. By the witch girl? For their blood. She is the most evil creature I have ever known. But more than a witch, a satanist. God help us all. You are in the greatest danger. Where she leads Dracula, I cannot follow. Nor can I defy her power. I can only pray. There are great forces against us. Here you have the people and their faith. But a faith that's kept well hidden. The people are like me, afraid. There is one hope. Vlad's son, Istvan. He finds glory skirmishing the Turks for King Matthias Corvinus. He is not out of reach. Two days' ride. The people of Togovishta are his people. He will help us. He is as cruel a lord as his father. But more just. He cannot give judgment in his father's kingdom while his father rules when it is his. That may never come to pass. What? The witch girl is with child. Dracula's greatest wish. Can you imagine a spawn of that corruption? But what of Istvan's rights as son? They mean nothing. This child of Lucifer will have everything, including all the powers of darkness that his vile mother will breathe into him. They say Vlad Dracula's bloodline stems from Genghis Khan. Can such a monster live again? Istvan loves his father deeply. It has not returned. He is a Christian, dedicated to serving King Matthias Corvinus against the infidel. Would he stand by and see his father brought into corruption? If his inheritance depended upon it, yes. Then he must be persuaded. And soon. I am helpless. Dracula's captive. It is not your mission. I will go to Istvan myself. Tonight, I return to my prison. At every step of my journey back into darkness, I considered how easy it would be for me to escape, as Jacob had pleaded, and so avoid the future that awaited me. But then, in my mind's eye, I saw the town of Tirgovishte raised to the ground, its sole monument a forest of impaled corpses. Was this the sum of all my days? Another ironic alternative offered me in the diabolic game of chess between Vlad Dracula and one poor priest. On the night of the first full moon, Vlad Dracula came to his satanic baptism. Commanded by him, I was there. But I wept as I was drawn into that corrupted house of God. Horned master, lord of the three kingdoms, the three faces of the moon, the three rings of power, know me, your daughter, as I dance here before you. All sacred images had been thrown down, and in their place, corrupting symbols of the flesh now stood. The altar, black draped and guarded with occult markings, had on it the tools of their revolting practices. A single black candle flickered with unearthly light, and I fell to my knees transfixed by the lewdness of her dance. Oh, 
Mele Casada, Fare Rishus, Raphael. I conjure you by the power of the lost Tetragrammaton, Habayoth. Draw this person unto you. Through me, your daughter in evil. Vlad Dracula. Name your will of him to whom all creatures are obedient. Him, the wielder of the words of power by which the elements are overthrown. The sea is turned back. Earth shudders. And all the host of heaven, earth and hell tremble and are confounded. I desire oneness with the horned god through you. How shall that joining together be? As the moon covers the sun. From that dark union comes new life. So shall you be renewed by this consummation of dark power. The last image I recall was the face of the gypsy, alive with dark triumph as she and Dracula came together in that unholy union. But I was to be spared that ultimate defilement, for God, in his mercy, struck me blind. My blindness gave me strength. I was not helpless, for I knew the castle from long past, and its darkness was my friend. But I was not free of Dracula. I could still hear. I could still feel, even sense the wickedness committed in my sightless presence. And I was aware of metamorphosis. The voice of Dracula, a man of nearly sixty years, grew younger, full of a new majesty and of darkness past my understanding. <laughs> Soon, my lord, the secrets will be yours. At the satanic baptism of our child. You have given me knowledge, power, and great joy. Look in this glass. I do not need mirrors to tell me who I am. Look hard. What do you see? Vlad Dracula, as I was at the great battle of Nandothaheva. Twenty years ago. And you, how old are you? <laughs> Older than the mountains that hold this castle to the earth. As old as the moon itself. But she renews herself from death to life. As you did also. In a village of old women, I alone stayed young. They came to envy me the richness of my hair, the firmness of my body. Their envy turned to hate. When you found me, that hate had turned to fear. They called me witch. But only you know the secret of my death and renewal. The ceremony of blood. It is your secret too. But we must beware. No one in Tergovishta knows you for anything but young. But they know me. The priest sees nothing now but Captain Ferenc. He fought with you at that great victory 20 years ago. He looks at you and frowns. Then he must die. I will wipe away the past. When those all about me are gone, who will know them? You cannot kill them all. I have killed thousands. <laughs> There is no need. There are many ways to be reborn. Is this some new sorcery? A spell to give me new form? The secret of the seasons. Nothing more. What is born must die to be reborn. What are you asking of me? <laughs> Trust me.
Father Benedict. Lord Istvan, my son, blessings upon you. You are blind. I know this place. I know your voice. But why isn't my father here to greet me? Have I offended him? What is wrong? My son, he is a dying man. What? Was the monk Jacob right? Is it witchcraft? You will see him in his chamber. This gypsy wife. He loves her. Do not speak against her before him. Is her power so great? This is not the time or place for questions, my lord. What is your fear? If you will not answer, then my father will. Take me to him. At his command. Otherwise, I dare not. Old man, do not play with me. I am the son of Vlad Dracula. Stand aside. The priest speaks truth, my lord. Captain, put back your sword. No man draws close to my lord Dracula without his word. Move now and my men will act. I am his son. Times have changed, my lord. You will pay for this with your life. Do not rebuke him, my son. If he lets you pass, he dies. Impaled outside the castle wall. Tell my father. Tell him I am here. He knows, my lord is from. Who is this woman? <laughs> Did you expect a crone? Or an unwashed slut? I'm the gypsy, Militza, wife to Lord Dracula. <laughs> Your stepmother. <laughs> Where is my father? I will take you to him. Come. <laughs> no need to stare at my belly so. Your sibling brother is not ready for you yet. Come, blind priest, lead us. He's like a fallen tree. The once mighty Vlad Tepes. Space. He had the majesty of eagles once. Now he is old. Speak to him, my son. Gently. My lord Dracula, your son Istvan is here. Father? Mm. Must you weep before me? Are you a child? Istvan is moved that you're sick, my lord. Why are there no doctors here? It is too late, I know it. No. Let him accept death. Leave him now. You do not command me. He has not asked or answered me as yet. <laughs> Your battles do not interest me. I want to speak of you. What has brought you to this? Why do you refuse to fight? Where is the warrior in you? You are talking to a dying man, Istvan. He's not interested in your questions. What I ask is important. Concerning what? My inheritance. How well timed is your return. How well timed is your bastard brat. My son, give your father peace. Why aren't you praying for his life, priest? Why is he being allowed to die? It is his wish. Now go. I want him to live. <gasps> Obey her. Father, it is my right to stay. I order you to go. Your allegiance is to the king. Go to him. Serve him well. Bring honor to our name. But do not stay here. Come, my son. He sleeps. He looks so helpless. Why does no one help him? Because they wish him peace. What do you wish, apart from your inheritance? Do not challenge me. I am his blood, his heir. Look into my eyes. Know my power. <laughs> you are evil. You are nothing. Go. <laughs> My son, come inside. There is food and drink in the great hall. Brother Jacob was right. This place is like an open tomb. The soldiers skulk like assassins. There's a stench of decay in every room. Oh, if you had only come sooner. Is it too late? Tell me the truth, father. He is beyond our help now. She has won. You speak too soon. When I inherit... You will have nothing here. It is the law. He can change it at a word from her. He must be made to live. Father, pray for him day and night. I will summon doctors, physicians. He will be dead before they arrive. You are so sure. Why? I know her power. 
I do not need to see her face. And you accept it? You, who were once so close to him? I am tired, my son. I have fought a mighty battle. And by his death, I will find release at last. A battle? For his very soul. He must die within the church. He cannot, I'm shriven. Then absolve him. It is your duty before God. To receive God's mercy, Dracula must first confess. To confess, he must acknowledge God. He will not. Then he will end unconsecrated. His last gesture of defiance against Christ. Priest, you want it quickly. What is it, Captain? Not the end yet, my lord, but he wants the priest. As witness? Pray God he will recant. Not while she's by his side. Then remove her, Captain. I wouldn't dare, my lord. And neither would you. Come, priest. <laughs> Do you see freedom, priest? Now that I am nearly gone? No, my lord. I have no victory to offer God. While I lived, you had hope. Like God's mercy, <laughs> everlasting. Then you will never be free. <laughs> My Lord. Did you expect a recantation? Why else was I sent for? As my witness. To this, Vlad Dracula's final testament, and to his moment of death. Sign. Huh? I will guide your hand, old man. Uh, it is done. What, what have I witnessed? The will of Dracula. You will know its contents soon. <laughs> you fear what it contains. Nothing is yours while he still lives. If you could see, you would know he will die tonight. You shall not thrust him headlong into death. I shall remain and pray. But that is his wish. His wish? Blind man. You cannot see the night sky. Tonight is the new moon. <laughs> I sat by my lord, waiting for him to die. I knew her meaning. Memories of that terrifying vigil at her side pressed down upon me. The growing of the moon would bring even greater power to her. I was helpless before her, as was Captain Ferenc. Only Ishvan himself could rebel, as he surely would when the contents of that dying testament were made known. Suddenly, the air of the chamber grew unearthly cold. The gaunt hand I held was rigid in my grasp. There was no pulse. Vlad V, Lord of Wallachia, was dead. I bowed my head and wept for his lost soul. At the heart of the great citadel of Tirgovishta was set the funeral vault that held the ancestors of Vlad the Fifth, including his mighty father, who found honor with John Hunyadi against the Turkish infidels. I could find no blessing fit to give, but a silent prayer, commending him to God's mercy. Then the iron gates were closed, and Vlad's testament was read. This is the testament of Vlad, son of Vlad Dracul. In that my brother Radu is dead before me, no man is more fit to hold my power and possessions than Vlachim, my exiled brother. What? <laughs> Go on, Clark. Finish. It is all his, to hold or share as he will judge. Witnessed, Benedict Estegom, priest. Who is this Vlachim? Your father's brother. 
Captain Ferenc rides to him now beyond the mountains. In 13 days, they will return. And this castle will have a new lord. Captain Ferenc was never seen again. But the man he sought, Vlachim, came to the citadel of Tirgovishta out of that terrifying storm, its towering clouds hiding the full moon. Even I, set in perpetual darkness, felt the awful power of that dark night. Father Benedict, he is here. A black Magyar coat with a matched ball, all jet black. I saw it in the west turret. Tell me what this Rahim is like, my son. I didn't see him enter. Come with me to the great hall. He must be there by now. Swift as still, but no one you agree with me. I am only your brother's widow, tolerated here, not welcome. She leans close to him like a whore. Their voices, she must be stopped. Where is Ishtban and the priest? I am here. Where is Captain Ferenc, my lord? He is dead. How did he die? In saving me from assassins on the mountain road. He was an honest man. Then you made your way here alone. Tergo Vishta is not unknown to me. When were you here last? Why do you question me? I am your lord, not some traveling merchant. Give me the respect that is due. Forgive him, Lord Blachim. The death of his father makes him harsh man. I'm a soldier. I hold fast to facts. So then remember that I, too, suffered that same loss. After so many years? Did he not speak of me, priest? Never. Your name was never spoken of as Uncle Radu's was. You doubt me. There is envy in your voice. I have an inheritance. You have nothing other than what I grant. Step carefully with me, Ishtvan. I am my father's son. I have rights. Your father is dead. Through her witchcraft, her sorcery destroyed him. Priest, is there proof that this is true? Did you see with your own eyes? I am blind, as you can well see. Then you saw nothing. He is old, and his mind twisted with grief. He had a great affection for my lord, Vlad Tepes. Ah, then I shall honor you, priest, and you in turn will serve me. And her. Will you honor her obligation to my father, mm. her bastard conceived on Satan's altar? Your brother. No. Of your blood, your father's line. Hers alone. She is evil and she is damned, and so is her brat. Reject her. You spit upon your father's memory. I honor his name. But you reject this unborn child, his seed. Yes. Reject the child, reject the father. So, you in turn are rejected. Go now. My lord, hear his case. Priest, be silent. He has made his choice. He will leave Tergo Vishta at dawn. I refuse. Then you will never leave these walls alive. My lord, let me speak with him. Let me persuade him. Please, I will not. Have you? You have until sunrise. Listen to this priest in his wisdom and be gone by them. Or you will inherit only death. I tell you, Father, I will not escape. I will kill him first. This passage does not lead to safety, my son. Where then? To your father's tomb. Inside these gates. Father, explain. My son, blindness takes away sight. But it keens the mind bringing truth where seeing brings only confusion. Tell me. Your father was murdered. By witchcraft? You have the proof? If I am right, he will be different. How? There are ways more secret and more vile going back into ancient legend. Her ways? I believe... She is a vampire. Oh, God protect us. All the evidence of her dark powers, her catalepsy at the waning of the moon, my own unspeakable nightmares as I sat in vigil beside her drained body. What was it you saw? Every dawn, her white body. Now, with more life, and under that pallid skin, the flush of fresh blood. 
And my father? Was her victim. What must we do? If he has been killed by a vampire, he is of the undead. He too must live for blood. Like her, he will change, take on that beastly form and go out into darkness only to return, satiated at dawn, even from the tomb, even from the grave. But why him? Why not you, who sat at her side, helpless and unknowing? This crucifix. I have no such protection. I have brought you this. Take it and wear it all. Her power is great. And this Vlachim, what is he? Her accomplice. Her familiar. The devil himself. You did not see his eyes. I have seen hers, remember. And I was in terror. Then she and Vlachim must be destroyed. But how? In the ritual manner. But first your father... His redemption can only come from you. And it is a hideous act. Tell me. The ritual calls that he must be transfixed through the heart with iron. If he is a vampire, there will be a great fountain of blood and he will groan in terror. But he will be saved. Not until you have severed his head. And prayed before it at a holy shrine. My own if father. any part of the ritual fails, if it is not completed before sunrise, all will be in vain. He will escape us, only to reappear elsewhere as deadly and as evil as before. But if we destroy him... He is her victim. God's mercy will warm and succor him until he has atoned. And what we do will not be in vain. Let us go in. Here is his casket. It will be unfastened, ready for his return. And when he comes... You must act quickly. Here, here, here's the iron stick. Your sword must shear his head. But guide me. Open the casket. <gasps> Do not be dismayed, my son. It is empty now, but he will return. It is not empty. Dear God, what have I done? It is filled with earth and stones. Why? What have they done with my father's body? Then he is not dead. There is no brother. Rakim is Vlad himself, like her, grown young. See, the full moon, Militza. And the town below. A silver toy. <laughs> Our plaything. By dawn, Istvan will be gone. It will be our citadel alone. Our kingdom of the undead. <laughs> they will serve us well, my people. My lord, there is a child to be fed. Then let us go down. The sorcery, the satanic mass. All of it. The ceremony of blood. I say we should take the castle. No, my son. It must be the two vampires by stealth before dawn. We are enough. Let's kill them swiftly. Peace, Miklos, my son. None for me until they're dead, father. Miklos's daughter was the tenth to be taken. There will be no more. Then let's act. There's little time before the dawn. Soon they must return. Brother Jacob, you and Miklos know what has to be done. The ritual. Aye. But Vlad Dracula must be Lord Ishtvan's sacrifice. To God. It will be done. I will not draw back. Let us get to their chamber quickly. We need torches. No, my blind eyes will guide us through the shadows. We have all else we need, then. Swords, the iron shafts, and hammer. To each of us, a crucifix. And I have holy water to purify that evil place. This will not be easy. Let us pray. Each man to himself, then. 
We've no more time for words. Kill them first. We'll pray for forgiveness later. She's there. Upon the bed, alone. Act swiftly then. By God, we will. <gasps> Who's there? She's awake. Mm. She's sitting up. Do not look into her eyes. <laughs> Too late, oh. blind man. God have mercy upon us. They're my slaves. Would you know my power? Miklos. Yes, my lady. Do you see the night sky? I do, my lady. It is the kingdom of the owl, the night hawk, and the moon. No! Go from the window, Miklos. Cast yourself down into the arms of night. Do not command him! No! Who shall be next, priest? Spare them. Only if you come to me. I cannot. Then they die. Choose. I, I am blind. Then I will come to you. Only throw down your holy cross. <laughs> and I will bind you to me with a kiss. I could only obey. But I had one small hope left. I threw the crucifix down and waited. <laughs> I could smell her white body, the fragrance of her hair, the moist heat of her mouth, as face close to mine, she spoke. So, priest, I set my mouth upon your neck, and you are mine. drenched her vile form with holy water and the spell was broken. Priest, what has happened? Stand back. Do not let her touch you, Father. She's changing. Father, what have you done? She's old. She's withering, crumbling into dust. She is nothing. God give peace to her tormented soul. Listen, that wind, he comes. Hold fast to God. Into the shadows, as he takes his human form, pinion and tie him from behind. Dear God, destroy our enemies in evil. We have him! Mistake! Priest! You have betrayed me! I am blind to your evil! Then your eyes shall be opened to truth! My son, do not destroy me! In the name of God! Die! Ah! Ah! Oh God! The blood! Will nothing stop the blood? Do not stop now! His head! His head! Father! I beg your forgiveness! Use your sword! I cannot! You must! In the name of God! Now! Please, you worship me when I do! God's mercy sanctifies you, my son. But our task is not finished yet. We have shamed him enough. Give me the head. No! No hand shall touch it but mine. They'll wrap it in your cloak and bring it. Where? The cell, which is my room. There is an altar there and candles. We shall pray together for his salvation. It is cold here, like the tomb. It is the only sacred place in this whole castle. Bolt the door fast, my son. Set the head down between the holy candles. I have never wept for a man before. He was your father. Pray for him. Istvan, my son, you are forever damned. At the sound of that terrible voice, scales fell from my eyes. And I could see. For what you have done, I pity you. Standing there in the shattered doorway was my Lord Dracula, cloaked and grim, 
whole and commanding, he pointed at the altar, and we choked with horror and despair. Look! See your act of justice! God have mercy! The head, set so piously between the candles, was not Dracula's. It was Brother Jacob. Do you see now, priest? And you thought you had won. Your sorcery has tricked us. But God will prevail. You have trifled with God once too often. The sword is set against you. You are evil, evil. But I know God. And for that, pity me. Pity? For you, Dracula, the Impaler, the Vampire... Let Satan take pity on his own. He has no claim on me. My crime was to seek revenge against my God. Now I must suffer the irony of God's vengeance in my turn. Pray for his everlasting mercy. He is a cruel God, but just and bitter in his judgment. What I am now is no triumph. I feed on evil and am sickened by it. For I have spat upon the face of God, and like the wandering Jew, I am condemned to immortality, an eternity of blood and evil. Pity me. This pity, Lord, Tainted with the same evil as his father, Vlad Tepish the Impaler, is condemned with ample proof for the brutal killing of an honest monk, Brother Jacob Caccioli, in this year of grace, 1476. The whole bloodline of evil rests with Istvan Dracula, the only remedy for such evil on earth is death. Let it be done. Her eyes, father, golden like a giant cat, yet dark too as the night owl's orbs. She was the queen of night. Did you have her father? She touched a priest once. How he must have burned, as I did, as my father did, in a hellfire of the flesh. Fire that consumed. They say the axe blade is hot as it shears the neck. Did you warm to that melting heat her mouth? Did you beg silently for her mouth upon your neck? Did you bleed? My son... My lord, it's time. There's freedom out there. Freedom and a short walk, my lord. I'm glad it's morning. We see so many terrors by moonlight. And you, father, were you ever really blind? I watched him walk bravely to the scaffold. Kneeling, he glanced once at the sky and the shadow of a bird in flight passed across his face. The axe blade flashed. The head fell cleanly. It was done. With his death, my chronicle is ended. It is a bitter testament to truth, for with it, my days of grace are past. Now, like Lord Istvan, I bow to the axe. For as the devil's witness, I had no witness of my own. Miklos is dead. Jakob is dead. Istvan is dead. Of the gypsy girl there is no trace. They say I was her accomplice in the murder of her lord, Vlad Tepesh. For that, and as Ishvan's unholy helper, I am condemned. 
But I smile bitterly as I see the axe that ends me is two-edged, double-headed as my fate. I have lived by truth, and in it I die. My judges think that by ending my life, they end the sorcery of Tiago Vishta. They think that by executing Ishtvan, the evil is destroyed. They are fools. The jailer, he will understand. But will you, for whom this chronicle is written? I tell you, Dracula lives. In Lord Dracula by Brian Hales, the part of Dracula was played by Kenneth Haig, with Nigel Stock as Father Benedict, Leanne Orkin as Melitza, and John Rowe as Ishtvan. Gareth Armstrong played Jacob, Hedley Niklaus, Elonia, and Don Henderson, Captain Ferenc. Also in the cast were George Woolley, Betty Mallet, Patricia Green, Graham Rigby, and Philip Barber. The fanfares were composed by Stephen Hancock and played by a section of the Langley Band. The special effects were by the BBC Radiophonic Workshop and the production in Birmingham was by Anthony Cornish. <laughs>